Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to show you guys an exercise that you can do with a partner, a friend or your coach that will help you a lot to improve your feel for the ball as well as your understanding of the trajectory of your shots so you can move to the ball more easily, have better control for your shots and better touch. And on top of that, it also makes it a lot easier for you to understand how spins actually work. So let's dive right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one tennis ball. Kata will be on the other side, I will be on this side. And we're going to play tennis, but as you can see, we don't have any rackets, so we're going to use our hands instead. So for now, we're just going to try to hit four hands, and we're going to try to get a feeling for the ball to eventually start to hit some top spin with our hands only. Now obviously we're not trying to hit super hard, we're not trying to hit winners here, we're trying to get a rally going with consistency. So as you can see now in a second, we're not trying to hit very hard here. So let's give this a try. Now you can notice here when we're doing that, obviously it's not very easy, but we're trying to keep a clean contact point and use a tennis-like motion on all our shots to try to get the ball over the net more consistently. Oh, easy mistake in between, but that's okay, that's part of it. And now we're trying to get in the perfect position and it should be a lot easier to get in a good position than with your racket because since you're trying to hit the ball with your hand you want a contact point that's a lot closer to you. Now you will notice when doing this exercise it's actually quite exhausting and it's good practice for your footwork as well as your feel. So try to make sure that you move well, get in a good position and use this exercise to finally understand how you can use topspin using your hand because the motion is the same exact motion as what you would do with your racket usually. So it will help you a lot to feel the ball a bit better, get a better understanding of where you have to move because now it's much easier because the ball is so much closer to you and it will become a lot easier for you in the long run with this exercise to actually control your tennis shots in the small court. Now obviously you can do the same exercise with your backhand but here you wouldn't use two hands because you would hit it with the back of your hand but you would instead do it with your left hand because always remember the backhand is pretty much a left-handed forehand with two hands. So what your left arm is doing on the backhand, on the two-handed backhand, is pretty much the same as what a left-handed player would do on their forehand just that you have a second hand attached to it to make it a bit more stable. So same exercise applies to forehands and backhands so you can really work on feel on both of your shots. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.